What an incredible coincidence. Dad is going bike packing again. All right, here we go. Another adventure bike packing today. So the idea right now is that I don't have an idea and the plan is, the plan is that I don't have a plan. I'm literally, I got the bike hooked up into the car. I got the bags filled with supplies and I'm just heading out into the wild. Hopefully, for your sake, it's a good video. Wish me luck. My life is pretty hectic. I have a very um, demanding career that keeps me hopping. I've got two younger kids who've got tons of activities that they have to do. And then I have um, a wife who likes to do her stuff. So between my kids, my job, my wife, and just life in general, it's hard for me to plan things. Sometimes my wife will say at three o'clock in the afternoon or four o'clock in the afternoon, why don't you go camping? And I'll just take that and run with it, right? Because it doesn't always come. I'm not kidding when I say I don't know what the plan is. Um, I've got four or five different options in mind, but um, to say I have a plan would be completely inaccurate, so. And I got this motorcycle right on my butt, man. Here he goes. Crazy busy up here. The last time I was here, I saw two cars. I probably passed 14 or 15 cars already. I'm just stoked to see so many people getting outside. They're outdoors, they're having fun, man. That's what it is all about. Um, I am going to drive, hopefully just a couple more miles, and then I'll uh, get out of the car, get on the bike. There's a lake I haven't been to yet, and I'm gonna see if I can get to it tonight. The problem is it's already six o'clock at night, so at best I've got about an hour and a half of daylight. So this is the very edge of the Mogollon Rim, and it is one of my favorite places in Arizona. Right there is my house. And if my kids are looking up, they can see me and I can see them. I think you guys deserve a better look, so check this out. This is the real Mogollon Rim. I think if I take road 123 for like 10 miles, I'm gonna hit a lake, so that's the plan for right now. Sun's going down quick. I got at best about an hour, maybe hour 15 minutes, so I'm really gonna have to hustle. Okay, I'm a couple miles in. So far, it's been mostly downhill, which is good and bad. It's good because it'll save time today. It's bad because tomorrow's gonna be primarily uphill, so. Hopefully I can get to my campsite before it gets too dark. I'm not a big fan of setting up in the dark, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, the good news is I found the lake. The bad news is it's about five or 600 feet straight down behind me. So the map that I used showed the road dead ending at the lake, which it does, but it didn't show the contour lines to where I could see that it actually, you have to drop way, way, way down. So I got a little bit of daylight left, probably about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can find. Uh, this is what the adventure is all about. When you don't make a plan, you just gotta be flexible. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's a big hill. So I found the T in the road. I'm gonna head down here 
This is my last hope to get near water tonight, but no big deal. I know where the lake is and I have a pretty good lay of the land. So worst case scenario, I set up in one of these trees over here. As you can see, I am all hunkered down in my hammock. Right outside my window here, I can see the lake, but it's still just too steep um, for me to want to take my bike down. If I was backpacking, it'd be no big deal, um, but I don't want to carry a 55 pound bike back up this steep hill. So real simple overnighter, um, nothing too fancy. I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure and we'll see you in the morning. I'm here next to the Blue Ridge Reservoir. Spent the night, had a nice night. Nothing really exciting to report. There's the hammock behind me. It's the uh, trail lair made by Simply Light Designs. You guys have seen, I got a review video. Really simple. I have a tree strap goes to a carabiner down the whoopies here and that's it I do like to stake out um, I stake out both the foot end of the hammock and I stake out the head end up to there and it's just connected to a little a little s beaner so under quilt this is a uh, war bonnet three quarter length 20 degree wookie um, pretty warm can't complain and then inside i've got um just a ridge line organizer for my batteries gloves and this is made by hammock gear this spreads out pretty nice. Uh, top quilt, uh, enlightened equipment, Revelation, 20 degree. Love this bag. Pretty much my go-to bag for everything. And then I have this down pillow. I don't know where I got this thing. It's just some generic down pillow, but this, this goes with me on every trip, so. Mm -hmm. What kind of bird that is it might be a vulture but it's just this massive thing it's right right above my hammock it's got his wings all spread out it's kind of freaking me out a little bit it's, it's intimidating me I feel intimidated